This is the string drawing message, general message for June 13th, 2022. Okay, so I'm drawing with my eyes closed using non-dominant hand, and then it becomes a, um, an intuitive tool. I don't know what it will look like, but what's the message for today? What do we need to have insight about? Okay. All right, so now I'm going to open my eyes and then gaze at this drawing. Sorry about the sunlight. I actually love stream drawing with the sunlight, and so it just makes me happy. Um, all right, right away I'm seeing someone here. Almost looks like they're talking to another person. So it could be the kind of a... be a discussion, an inner discussion. What is it that we need to talk about the most in, inwardly? This almost looks like wet paint. Okay, so some things may not be finished yet, or you may be waiting, waiting for paint to dry, waiting for something to, um, you know, to, to kind of manifest or... Um, sorry, to, to manifest or to reach a completed state, wet paint, you know, it doesn't dry faster when we're waiting. These two seem like they're almost in a canoe. So I don't know. I mean, the reason why I think it's a discussion, an in, inward discussion, and it could, these are multidimensional. So it could mean really needing to have a conversation with someone that you're close to because they're like almost hatching out of one egg. This is in the shape of a third eye. So I feel like it's a talk with the self. And um, since this is like a canoe and this is a very watery image, to me that's consciousness and being aware. So there may be some things that um, we need to be aware of while we have a sense of waiting to understand something better, waiting to see something come into fruition, just um, kind of have that conversation that maybe gives us some realization or even seeking out someone we feel very close to to help us navigate. This whole thing looks like a ship, the figurehead here. And I'm going to turn it. This is such a claw, isn't it? Really interesting. This looks like money. Anybody got money worries? Um, since this is in the future, I think what I would say about this is um, we are kind of, this is like a recession period. So I would say better to, um, in, when you think about yourself now, in the now, we usually don't do that. We don't feel like now is happening. We are worried about the past, like whatever happened whoever did what, whatever, all that stuff. And then we fret about the future. So I feel that prayers are heard when I get this. That's what makes me think of prayers being heard. It's like a teardrop, but it's going up. So prayers are heard, wishes, you know, intentions can be known. So since we're so powerful, probably the best thing about when you think about money is to imagine money being not a problem. Imagine abundance. Imagine, you know, everything working out. Um, imagine a world where money is shared a little bit more equally and all that. Whatever would be harmonious about money. Um, the reason why is because we do affect the outcome of things so much with our attitude. So like the attitude I have today about money, whatever's going on with me today, can affect the outcome in the weeks ahead, just simply by my disposition today, energetically. Uh, so that's what I would say about that. So if you think about money and money issues, imagine yourself and see yourself and feel yourself having ease and comfort around money, not stress, not woes, and, and picture that for others too. 
because we can sometimes be the one to be energetically um, positive for someone else's sense of that. <coughs> and then let's see if we see anything different when we turn it this way. This reminds me, it doesn't look like a horse, but it reminds me of when you put a bridle on a horse. So at the crown, to me, a bridle represents um, having kind of a sense of control with a lot of power. So I guess, again, that this is where the, the money symbol was too. Um, having discipline around power, in other words, the mental, because this is at the crown and third eye. Um, <coughs> so our mental, um, our thoughts, our, our um, configurations that we mentally produce can have a whole lot of, really a whole lot of power, and we need to have some discipline. So lately I've been doing more breathing, deep, deep breathing like what you do in yoga. There are other traditions that use the breath to um, concentrate without thinking. In other words, like a meditation zone where you don't think. That's also why I do stream drawing. While I'm stream drawing, I'm not feeling anything. Um, I mean, I'm not, sorry, I'm not thinking of anything. I'm feeling a lot, but I'm not thinking of anything because I'm, I'm just creating. And that puts me in a zone where my thoughts don't rule me. So I would say this is a good week to have some discipline around what our thoughts are doing. Don't let thoughts control you. Instead, maybe, especially if there are repetitive thoughts that really don't serve, like really bad worries or negative thinking, it's better to think of yourself as this powerful horse. And in order to have a great time with that power, a bridle is put on, you know, there's some, there's some, um, some artfulness, really some discipline to harnessing all that beautiful power. And there's so much more here. I, I really have to take a, a long time to do these meditations. Um, so I see an upside down heart here at the root. You know, a lot of times, whatever confuses us about love, whether it's romantic or other, um, that stuff really can at the root literally um, follow us and uh, create a sense of chaos because we want to feel loved, we want to be able to love, and um, it's just not that easy. So at the root, self-love, loving um, who we are at our root, who we really are, feeling a sense of belonging without it being confusing, is so important. When we turn this, this heart won't be upside down anymore and it will be at the crown when we turn this the other way. So soon we'll get there. But let's just see if there's anything here to look at. This also says love is in the future because you've got the heart there. So romance and good things happening in the future. Um, this is really interesting here. So this is like the, uh, the moment of... Um, the creation moment, you know, like the, you got the, the hands touching the fingers, you know, God, and it's like the Sistine Chapel ceiling, you know, uh-oh, this big thing's about to happen. Sorry, I'm trying to draw with just looking at my, um, through this phone. So you've got like this creation moment. Wow, we're such creators. So we're about to see some interesting things happen. This is a mountain range. I don't know what that signifies. I hope that's not a volcano. Keep an eye out. I hope not because I'm, I think they're active all over right now. But anyway, this is a super potent creative um, image. So again, it goes together with what we think and feel. It does create a lot of um, energy. So right now in this moment, how we think and how we feel can really set us up for maybe for love in the future or for other things that we can experience. And so since we want to experience some positive things, it's good to um, enjoy the power of creating in, in each moment as the week goes on. And one more view, we've got, again, the, the crown has a heart there. So 
put love in your thoughts as much as possible this week. And I um, really think those are the main images that I'm seeing right now. So I will spend more time gazing at this and meditating about it. But for now, the main message is grab the moment now. If you need to talk with someone about how to go forward, you know, do it. But if you need to talk with your inner self in order to allow yourself to really just to kind of clarify how you want to go forth, be patient. The paint is wet. It'll dry. Um, you know, not everything happens right away. Try not to fret about the future, about money issues. Whenever you do, put something positive on those thoughts. Again, you remember you had a, a heart at the crown. So at your thoughts, you really, really, at, at the place where your thoughts churn, you really want to put some love there, some positivity, not worry. Worry doesn't really help. Our ego lets us worry to help prepare us. So if there are things you need to do, like like I said, inner discussion you need to have to navigate, to get yourself forward, you know, like planning is good and um, setting things up as best we can to have um, good outcomes. That's really, that's important. And that way the ego serves us. Otherwise, worrying about the future is not helping. Worrying about money doesn't help. Just be positive in your planning. Try to see yourself having abundance and being a part of the abundance of others. And remember that at your root, the love and matters in relationships can be confusing. At your root, you really are love and um, can turn that upside down heart at the root right side up, just like it's supposed to be. And that is the stream drawing message for June 13th, the week of. It's a general message. If it speaks to you, that's great. I hope it does. If not, and you, these are so um, archetypal, really, that probably it can speak to all of us. But hopefully it will be a beautiful, peaceful week. And you can learn more about me at ElaineClayton.com. And you can learn more about intuitive drawing with this book, The Way of the Empath and making marks discover the art of intuitive drawing. Have a beautiful week.